good day. This is the professor. C.B. M.D. Ph.D. And today's Friday, June 23rd, 2023. It is 2.17 and 43 seconds. A.M. Eastern Standard Time. And today's research. Chromosomal fragments. So let's jump to it here. As tethering of shattered chromosomal fragments paves way for new cancer therapies. Day June 15th. 1923. Source, University of California. The scientists discovered shattered chromosomal fragments are tethered together during cell division before being rearranged. Destroying the tether may help prevent cancerous mutations. And this chromosomal shattering and rearranging is called chromothripsis and occurs in the majority of major cancers, especially cancers of the bone's brain and fatty tissue. Chromothripsis was first described just over a decade ago when scientists did not understand how the floating pieces of DNA were able to be put back together. Researchers answered this question, discovering that the shattered DNA fragments are actually tethered together, and this allows them to travel as one during cell division and be re-encapsulated by one of the new daughter cells, where they are reassembled in a different order. It is similar to a smashed car windshield, but the safety glass is designed to keep all the broken pieces in place. What we have done here is to find the safety glass and identify several of its core components, which we can now explore the therapeutic targets. When chromosomes break and rearrange themselves, this can initiate or exacerbate cancer in several ways. For example, if a tumor suppressor gene is broken in the process, the cell will become more vulnerable to tumor formation. In other cases, genes that aren't usually close to each other on the chromosome can suddenly be stitched together to produce a new oncogenic fusion protein during chromothripsis. Many such changes occur simultaneously rather than gradually, thus accelerating cancer development or its resistance to therapy. Now that the researchers had identified an early step in this process, the tethering of shattered DNA fragments, they wonder if they can stop it by destroying the tether. They might prevent the rearranged chromosomes from forming, thereby reducing the number of cells potentially carrying cancerous mutations. And to do this, the researchers engineered a modified version of one of the tether proteins so that they could induce its destruction on demand. When they did so, the tether disintegrated. The DNA fragments did not cluster, and the resulting cells showed reduced survival. The researchers suggest that the proteins in the tether complex, particularly cellular inhibitors of PP2A, CIP2A, may now be an attractive therapeutic target for chromosomally unstable tumors. The process of chromosomal care and repair contributes to cancer in many ways. So the more we can understand how it works, the better we can find it to train cancer. And this is a professor, professor of microbiology, bioinformatics, pathophysiology, and teacher of research. This video was created for educational purposes only. Hope you enjoyed listening. Until next time, have a great day.